So in this set of videos, I'm going to be creating um, console applications in Visual Basic. So console applications are text-based applications, the sort of thing uh, that you might be looking at if you're preparing for a GCSE in computer science and your school uses Visual Basic. And I'm using Visual Studio 2017, but the techniques will be basically the same in other versions. So the first thing we need to do is uh, open Visual Studio and we need to um, scroll down and create new projects. So uh, I need to scroll down because of the limitations of the video. Uh, your screen will hopefully be taller than this. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to choose a console app for the .NET framework and I'm going to give it a name. Let's just call it uh, example and I'm going to choose where it goes. So I'm just going to put this on my desktop um, but it'll probably save it within your own uh, area. So I'm going to go new folder and I'm just going to call it YouTube and let's pop it in there and I'm going to I'm not going to add it to source control uh, but I'm going to create a, a directory is just a, another word for folder so click OK now this can take a while while it sets up the folders and adds some kind of system files to that so the uh, the older your PC like mine, the, the longer it can take. Um, so when you first start your um, application, what you get is this. So all of our coding is going to take place in this window. Uh, so don't worry too much about the module stuff at the moment. Uh, main is effectively the main part of the program. We'll come back and have a look at structure of the program in a, a later video. I'm just going to show you uh, at the moment how to uh, create and run a program. So Visual Studio is what we call an IDE, an integrated development environment, and it's quite sophisticated. So as you type, um, it'll suggest um, kind of a syntax, a bit like autocomplete on your phone. So uh, if you don't understand what I'm doing, obviously, um, then uh, I'll explain these in future lessons. So um, as you can see, it suggests the type of thing that might come next. So these aren't all of the Visual Basic commands. They're Visual Basic commands that would be suitable for this particular point. And um, so I'm going to just uh, so just quickly create a program. So um, this is a variable declaration. I'll explain all these things in future videos. But if I want to print this on the screen, because it's a console application, all of the input and output is done through a thing called a console, which is a kind of black text window. So if I want to do things to the console, I can type console dot, and these are all the things that I can do. So I can use this to remind me of the sorts of things that I can do, um, but also it will uh, enable me to uh, quickly uh, type things in. So if I, I know that if I want to print something to the screen, I need to use console.writeline, for example. That's the subject of the next video. If I type W, it'll jump down to the W in the list. If I type um, the R, it then gives me the choice of right or right line. And if I press the tab key, it'll um, select the one that I've got highlighted. So if I press tab now, it'll put right line in there and I can just um, do that, for example. And then if I want to run the program, um, I can click um, start up here. But if I do that, well, let's see what happens. So the first thing it's doing is compiling effectively the uh, the program to make sure that it's um, not got any errors and then it will create the executable and it will run it in this black window. Notice that it's disappeared uh, straight away and that's because um, the program has executed and then it's finished so it's closed the window. So there's nothing wrong with that program, it's just that it only momentarily displays hello and then it disappears and that's too fast for us to see. So um, if you want the program not to disappear when you finish. There's two ways around that. You can put a kind of dummy input at the end, but you can also uh, use Control F5 instead. So if you do Control F5, then it'll run that in a window and it will pause at the end and it'll ask you to press any key to continue. So that's uh, an introduction to uh, Visual Basic. We're not going to use any of the other uh, parts of the window for the time being. It's just typing in the code and running it.